So in this video, I'm going to explore a little bit more about the player class. So remember, we have one player class, but two player objects. Now, what's in the player class? Well, it has a, uh, an array list of cards. Now, this is going to be a field. It's going to be private because we always make uh, the fields private. So it's going to need accessor and mutator methods and if we want to do anything to it. So uh, we're going to need a, a take card method. It'll take uh, in which the, this, the table or the war game class uh, can pass a card over to add to the array list. Right? So it's a void method, as are many mutator methods. Um, then it has a card object passed in. And so uh, obviously both these player objects would have the same methods. So the deck class could call this, these would be, these methods would all be public, by the way. Uh, the deck, the table class, sorry, could call the take card method of this player. And that would send a card from the deck object in the in the table class uh, over to add it to the array list. So that little green dot represents a card, right? And the deck class would have one less card in it. So you'd be using the deck class's deal method to get a card over. We went over this yesterday. I went over this yesterday. So you know this would fill up the I just do one side, right? With uh, lots of card objects, twenty-six dot dot dot, right? Twenty-six card objects. Same over here. I'll just do dot dot dot. I indicate that there are more. Okay. So uh, now to play a card, right? Again, that's a public method in both player classes. From over here, we'd have code that would call each player's object's play card method. And as you can see, that method returns a card object. So what would so from over here, we would call this player's uh, play card method. And it would uh, it would remove the the card at the zero position here. And if you're not uh, you're not Remembering all of the ArrayList methods, go get your book out and go to the page that has the list of the ArrayList methods, right? So you'd be pulling that out. Actually, I'll do it like this, right? Because you're actually removing it, and bringing it over here, and same thing over here, right? I sort of went over this yesterday. And these, of course, would all shuffle down. Right, which is the which is the problem with this approach, but that's okay. Right, and same thing over here. These would all shuffle down, right? And this would this would so we would be moving things over until I'm not going to actually move them over here. I'll just draw them over here. So we move. This is a bit of review from yesterday. The three face down cards by calling this player's play card player objects play card method three times and this player's play card method three times and you're moving them over to these two array lists. Now if you're clever, if you're clever, you could just use one array list, right? And keep track of, uh, that's not even that hard. So I'll leave that as a exercise for those of you who um, want to challenge yourself a bit. You could replace these two array lists with one array list fairly easily. Uh, and then, and then you would do it one more time for the face-up card, right? Uh, and then, uh, who's ever, whichever player has the higher face-up card, using compare to to determine that, then all of these cards get added over to that player's uh, cards, right? Uh, it's just, you know. open some space there. So um, so what you could have 
in the in the uh, in this class is a method that will uh, with two with two loops in it, one that will empty this array list and one that will empty this array list, and uh, and inside each of those loops, you're just um, you're just you have an if statement to say whether you're going to call the play card the take card method of player this player object or this player object. So let's say this player object one. So then these four get moved over here, right? And these four get moved over here. Right. And this player is obviously doing very well in this game. So now you're ready for the next uh, round of the game. Now you'd probably also want to have a method has cards or something like that, a boolean, returns a boolean. Uh, I could also see writing this with, um, like instead of has cards, like number of cards, uh, and which returns an int, which, which uh, might be their advantages to that. Uh, but a boolean also works, uh, which would return whether or not the player has any cards in their stack. Because right? remember, we can't, because the array lists are private, we can't check their size from over here. Um, so we need an accessor method that will return um, how much of the array list is actually, you know, whether there's anything in the array list, what its size is. So, um, Yeah, I think I think that's enough for today. Again, please get in touch if you're struggling with this. I'm more than happy to sit and help you out with your code. Okay? Uh, thanks. That's it for now.